Cambridge has always been a, a club, you know, historical rugby club. There's always been quite a big gravitas for coaches and, and players alike. And you know, for me, in the stage that I was at in my career, it was a, a really good sort of long-term project to, to coach at National One level. I'd worked with a lot of the players before in my role as, as head coach for the England Counties under 20s and. Um, the vision that the, the club had both on and off the field, I thought that I could add value and, and complement that. So whilst last season we had a, quite a few challenges, probably on and off the field, I think we're in a, a really strong position now looking ahead to this season. This is my sort of per personal view. I think when you uh, start any new job, particularly in, in the, the sporting landscape, you're, you're quite conscious of not coming in and making wholesale changes. Um, there were times last season where we, we beat some of the top teams in the league but we, we really struggled with that consistency throughout the season so for us looking ahead to this season we've reinforced our squad and also that the coaching team now is, is, has downsized significantly which I think will, will allow us to give a, you know, the clarity of message which was sometimes clouded a bit last season. You know, the Formula One theme came about through a few conversations that we had as a coaching team about how we can bring to life some of the values that, that we've brought in at the rugby club and I suppose the big thing for us is, is the players realising that in addition to themselves, you know, them being the drivers of the Formula One car, that the support that they've got around them with the, the coaching team, the, the management team, their families, you know, that all of those people contribute to the, to the success of the car and um, you know, at the moment our, our Formula One car has got a few sort of bumps and bruises from last season, a few flat tyres, but we're in the process now of trying to get that, that car up to, up to speed to compete for that, that first race in September. I think it's great if I'm honest, uh, I'm quite into Formula One so I sort of get the gist of what he's saying. Um, I think the way he's putting like components into it, so he's saying sort of comparing different positions to different sort of uh, aspects of a Formula One car and a Formula One team. Um, I think it's a great ethos, if I'm honest. I think it sort of puts quite clear like what we want to do and how we want to work together to create one big formula, which would be a uh, Formula One car, I suppose. It's probably my, you know, my my Formula One team. It's just the, the players that I want. It's the support staff that I can trust. It's the coaching team I know will support and challenge the players. So. Um, you know, taking that that into account, plus the fact that you know that we're a, we're a year wiser as as a group, um, and I think with the coaching team that we have assembled and the, the playing group that we've got at the club, uh, we're in a far better position than what we were 12 months ago. That half a second of you holding them back and then wanting to have a go, with and then we can play on top of them because they're backtracking. That's the half that's the half percent that we need. If that if we are quite narrow. Because otherwise we're running into a brick wall. Always down this side. I think uh, the feeling is really good, kind of similar to uh, last year, but I think everyone's buying in a lot more. Um, everyone seems to be getting along really well, gelling really well. All of the new players have just slotted right in and yeah, great, great atmosphere and great feeling in camp. I uh, joined Cambridge when I was 12. Um, spent a few years there until I was 16 and then uh, left for a few years, go to a different club. And I came back into the senior setup four seasons ago. Um, I really enjoy it. I think it's great here. It's my home club, I suppose, as a lad from Cambridge, and yeah, I like it. Good family atmosphere, and all the boys get along well. Um, a lot of games are very close. We never lost by sort of great margins, apart from one or two games. They're always close, just finishing touches that we sort of missed out on, and 
I feel like the stuff we're doing already in pre-season will make sure that we get those finishing touches and finish off games how we should be. I think he's great at handling players and sort of making sure everyone's comfortable and sort of doing the right things and talking to players uh, about uh, development and sort of where they're at. I think he's great. OK, can we have the Greens attacking to start? Can you make sure you've got 15 on, please? Organise yourselves. Number up, number the rest up. of the Blues, go and get a tackle shield. Yeah, you're attacking out. So blue is the uh, four, four is full forward, so ball carrier, support left, support right, deep support. Okay. So yellow is just a th yellow, with, is that with a three, basically? Pretty much, yeah. Jakey, that line off the line, that's far better than Thursday. Yeah. I said to Finn, I said, because Kieran does it really well. Yeah. He comes off and like slows up, but straightens an injury. Yeah. So I said to Finn, if you can get off the back of the line out and run forward, it just bites yeah. them. Because he's, at the moment, he's just kind of, I said to him, like, if you instead of traversing, you're just giving yeah. the ball, I'm then having to deal with two people as opposed to the edge of one. Yeah. But still, by, by having that extra yeah, yeah, yard yeah. gives you time yeah, to do that, doesn't it? I can it? take another, yeah. I think we're getting a lot of it from this, Dan, aren't we? A lot of what we wanted from the end bit. Granted, yeah, we can do some 15 v bags for five, ten minutes at the end, but we're getting a lot from this. Yeah. Eyes wide shut, but they know Buried alive by the lies and they sold They stride of a blind man stroll But for whom does the next bell toll? I'm too many years in the zone Too many years to have built what I own And many dumb fools try to take what I've grown But these roots go deep and you can't blood a stone So if you wanna push, I'ma shove If you wanna spar, we can do it, no gloves And if you're gonna run at me, you better do it hard Cause I fear no fall, no brawl, no scars I'm two pounds shy of a bomb I'm one shade short of alarm I'm two past wrath and I'm calm Got two last laughs in my palms I'm three degrees west of a hurricane Four wheel drive with a ball and chain My five foot seven is irrelevant I'm six 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 if you threaten my development yeah, We want to try and develop players who can go on to play sort of premiership rugby and we've got a really good track record of doing that. You don't want to say no more than a mom you can't afford And you don't want to let this turn in the lines of mine and yours And you don't want to press your luck with a backup and withdrawal Cause trust me when I tell you, you don't want that tooth and crawl and Be a wrecking ball. Yeah. And again, if it's on, to just shift it, just shift it. Yeah. Yeah, I think first few, well, first one, definitely I'll have a crack at that. Yeah, have a go, mate. And then they suck in. All, yeah. The so the more traffic we can get in his channel early on, they'll try and hide him quite well. Yeah. Just keep an eye on just where he's going. Just go at him. Yeah. Yeah. Big one today, Dave. This is it. Dominate. Dominate. Yeah, get yourself in the game. It's dominant tackle, it's a carry. Just get yourself in the game early. You feeling good, big fellow? Yeah. Just be hard today, mate. Just be hard today. Be the hard man. Did you win the toss, though? The toss. Well, he lost the toss. Right, okay. So they're kicking? They're kicking, we're going. Perfect. Out. Dream. Um, today is our first lap, as cliche as that sounds. The expectations are on what we need to do within our first lap. We need to intimidate. We need to be the aggressors. Ed and Senna, one of the greatest Formula One drivers that's lived, started that lap in fifth place. A minute and a half, two minutes later, he ends up in first place. All of the practice laps, all of the pre-season that's done, that is designed for our performance this afternoon. Trust your instinct. Just 
just come up to us? Hey, we don't see you all the ready lads. Someone get out there, one of you, back three, bang that ten. We've identified with the weakest, I'm ready to play. Don't give me a f***ing armchair right. I want to see us firing from minute one to minute 80. We're not there yet, let's go. So I think where do we want to be in three years? I think we want to be far more competitive in this league. The last few seasons we've been at the wrong end of the table. Uh, moving forward, I think we want to be seen as a, a top half team in National One. It's top half of the table, definitely. I think people, the sort of squad is in place to get that as well. Um, I don't doubt we'll do it. Just got to buy in. Brothers on three. One, two, three. Brothers. Brothers.